Greetings today. There is a third quarter or last quarter moon in Cancer. The Cancer moon is about caring and sensitivity and feelings. And so with this third quarter moon, we have a little bit of challenge or pressure. And I want to talk about why it is so important to love your most powerful self. I'm Marina Orms here with your Astro Vibe for Tuesday, September 24th. And so there's a lot that is very tender about this last quarter moon. Uh, it's in Cancer, um, making us feel more sensitive, more, more vulnerable, more raw, um, so we can feel emotional, we can feel our feelings, we can feel things that maybe sometimes it's a little bit easier to avoid or put off or um, uh, make, you know, stay a little bit fo more focused on the superficial. But with the Cancer Moon, we, we really feel things, we really um, access in our most sensitive places. And with this third quarter moon, so there's a couple of things. One is that uh, anytime there's a square between the sun and the moon, which is only two times a month, right? It's the first quarter moon and the last quarter moon. Those are both um, indicating that there is a 90 degree square relationship between the sun and the moon meaning that uh, one is on the horizon and one is directly above in the sky. And that's what a square is. You think about the whole zodiac as being a circle. And when one uh, planet, or in this case, the sun and moon, are one is rising, one is directly above, one is setting, the other is directly above. So that's 90 degrees. It's a square. And it just so happens that when we have a square, we see a half moon. So that's why the half moon is called a quarter. <laughs> First quarter, last quarter, that can be confusing, right? But it's a half moon at its last quarter of a cycle. So that's what we mean. And that those squares, those quarter moon or half moons at a quarter, <laughs> last quarter, um, are bringing a challenge. So something is not easy, right? And what is the purpose of things that are not easy? It helps us grow. It helps us be stronger. It helps us find our inner resources, discover more about who we are. And so in this case, uh, we are three quarters of the way through the Virgo moon cycle, meaning that three weeks ago, approximately, we had a new moon in Virgo. And the um, new moon set the tone, the quality, the theme for this entire moon cycle. So that Virgo energy means that we are working on improvement. We are working on ourselves in addition to the other things that we do in the world, right? We're, so we're, we're helping to make ourselves or support ourselves to be better people to think about what where can i grow where can i learn how can i be a better person and where do i need to maybe let go of some of the things that made me feel strong in the past or made me think that i was stronger and and so recognizing where some of our own imperfections are not from the self-critical point of view of there's something wrong with me. There's nothing wrong with you. You're you're absolutely perfect, exactly the way you are. This is uh, the nature of things, and and you have this possibility, this potential to continue to learn and grow and discover more about who you are, where your strengths lie, why you are more resilient than you think as we go through this process of um, learning and growing and, and stepping into more of who we can be, more of our potential, um, that, that Virgo spirit of improvement is inviting us to grow into that potential. So with this third quarter moon, uh, we have that that experience of a square that brings some sort of challenge. It's asking us to grow in this Virgo moon cycle 
to continue this work that uh, is the theme of this month, this moon cycle, to um, to focus on improvement and how we can be more perfect. Um, I don't know if more perfect is really the right language there, but you you get the idea. Um, so, uh, so we have that challenging uh, energy three quarters of the way through the cycle asking us to grow in the sensitive sign of cancer. So what is this asking of us? It's asking us to love ourselves in our imperfections, in our sensitivities, in our realness, our feelings, our vulnerabilities. And we are our most powerful selves when we are in that wholeness, in being real, being vulnerable, acknowledging where we are sensitive and uh, where we need to take care of ourselves, where we have needs, right? We have needs. Um, we we are human. We we are doing this human journey of discovering how to. Uh, continue to become stronger and more powerful and more creative and more able to go with the flow and all the things and all the individual things that we are learning based on our own natal charts and and who we are. Um, so the power of self-love is is what I see as really the lesson and the invitation of this third quarter moon is to when we love ourselves as we are in our vulnerabilities, we become more powerful. We become better people. So loving acceptance of yourself. Think about how you can practice that. How, how can you be accepting of who you are, of where you are, of how you are learning and growing, accepting of when you, you know, have a day where you feel a little off or, or when you find that you don't think you're really measuring up to your own expectations for yourself. Have that spirit of compassion and forgiveness that supports you, that holds you, that remembers, hey, you are human. This is what it looks like to be human. If you were not being human, we would be worried, right? <laughs> it's, it's far better to be human and uh, and experience the, the bumps and the imperfections and the wrinkles and the things that life brings. And um, when we accept that, we really are in our most powerful selves, in our most powerful way of being. So, um, so loving that part of you, loving your wholeness, loving who you are as a real human being, and uh, that loving your most powerful self means loving yourself in your imperfections. And so whatever you can do for self-care today that acknowledges you are you are loved for just for who you are, right? For who you are in this moment, for who you are in your vulnerabilities, for who you are in your process of learning and growing and how you know you are loved is because you are choosing to love yourself. So self-love is, is a challenge sometimes, right? We, we're, if, if we're, if somebody else isn't beating us up, we're going to beat ourselves up. So, so stop doing that and think about ways you can, you can hold yourself. Um, and, and just the way you would hold a child unconditionally, absolutely unconditionally and acceptance of who you are and where you are. And that is your most powerful self. Thank you so much for being here. I'm Marina Orms. You can learn more about me and how to work with me expanding on your own natal chart, diving in to understand how you're wired and how the universe supports you in becoming your most powerful self. Check it out, astrologyheals.com and 
Uh, thank you for being here and for subscribing to this YouTube channel. I'm here every day with astrology for unshakable self-care. So do something loving for yourself and I will see you next time. Bye for now.